Wait five more minutes. All right. So I'm sorry about that one. But I think there is someone who's bringing my delivery. Where are you talking to? A, where are you to? Where are you talking to? A Kenyan or a Polish? No, no, this white lady, this Polish lady at, in, at the counter, the one that the one that receives papers, the documents. Mm -hmm. So I asked her, Madam, please. Uh, these days we are we are experiencing a lot of refusals. Refusals. May you please know uh, why you given reasons like uh, we are not totally. Mm. Uh, before the expiration of your visa. Mm. So I was like, Madam, since, since that is the reason that you normally give to people, mm. uh, can you please specify the kind of document we can, can give to you in order for you to get satisfied that immediately after, uh, before, before the, the expiration of my visa, I will totally exit, I will exit Poland. Mm. Then she was like, no, no, you see that you just have to go on the website and you read all the, the, the requirements for, for a national visa. Then I was like, no, but, but please, normally, normally people submit even more than enough documents, but still their visas are getting denied. Mm. She was like, are you asking for yourself or are you asking for the friend? And I was like, a lot of people are getting denials. Mm. So she was like, but this is your first time for to apply, so you haven't got a refusal yet. Why are you asking all this, these questions? I was like, it is, it is, it is possible because... People have come here with with all the papers, but still get refusals. So how? So I have to know. Maybe if I get a refusal, I know what to prepare when I'm going to to appeal. I know the documents that I was missing. So I I think they got angry and the the security guard was there. He was seated, but but when I started talking, he stood up, and they they never even take action. But but I I. I to, to tell them because I knew that I, I got that I got that out of asking that person. Madam Male uh, the the when you take the rest you... I went to the interview because I had seen the reports. Uh, excuse me, Madam uh, Madam Male Teddy, please we're muting eh? let everyone mute. Yeah. Can I work is not clear. Okay, go ahead. Your network is not clear. We can hear you. We can hear you well. It is her network actually, which is not clear. My network? Yeah. For me, I'm okay. Go ahead. But we are getting you. We are getting you. So that is how it went. I, they were like, they normally considering giving you a refusal or an approval. They do a lot of investigation. She's not the one that is making the decision. She's saying that the police, the Polish air, the police ship policies are totally different from what we think. So we have to, to abide with whatever they give us. They have to first make research company that that is employing us. The paperwork I submit also matters a lot. Uh, she said a lot of stuff. Okay. So there is nothing I can do. I just have to wait for, for because I, I'm expecting nothing like positive results. So that is how it went. I just moved out. So, what what is the way forward? Why why aren't you coming back? Hello? Whose network is having a problem here? Mine or yours? Yours. Your network. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you still camping there? Because you are supposed to pick your, your, your passport on 4th, your decision on 4th. On yes. So, yeah, I'm supposed to pick my, my so why are you still there? 
Uh, actually, um, I was supposed to leave yesterday, mm. but I decided to extend one more night. Since because of the other things we had talked about, mm. and if if we if we find um, still if we find reasons for me to stay a mm. little bit longer, mm. I can stay. If maybe there is any assistance I can offer, it is okay for me to stay longer. Yeah. Currently, my, my return ticket is reading Friday, okay. Friday at 4 p.m. Uh, the reason is why I didn't go immediately. I had first, you know, Koyo Zako. Koyo Zako. Koyo Zako Napu. Hey. Toka, toka, I, have, I have a Kenyan friend, lady. Uh, we were working together in Dubai, so she was just taking me around. Okay. Mm. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you have heard um you have heard from him from her actually. She was there and she was courageous enough to say whatever she said yesterday, and we are looking forward to having um um actually it is me actually it is me who told her that she should at least stay there for some time and we organize from this meeting actually from this meeting we shall have a way forward should we go ahead and we demonstrate because the day she'll pick the visa is the same day when uh when uh Mwanje should be picking his visa also Mwanje, yeah. Mwanje henry i have other for friends okay decision life. sorry decision so no, it's huh? on fourth it's me Mwanje, and i have some other four guys, yeah. two from two from Kenya. Okay. We meet. Uh, actually, I'm still talking to them. I uh, know I haven't told them about our plans yet, mm. but mm. I think they are also a bit pissed off. Yeah. They are not getting uh, positive results. Yeah. So. So, all in all, what we are planning here is to mobilize. Uh, one 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 thing is. We need to make to make sure that she stays there until fourth. That means she has over like uh, more than ten days to stay there. If that, if you you decide here, because we are here to decide. As you see her, she's just pissed because she has borrowed money. Even most of you guys here, you have borrowed her money. You remember, even she posted in the group. She did have money. We had to come up here. This gave a hundred. This one gave a million. She's they had money. Her, her things are in the bank. So we cannot just keep looking at the embassy. People go, get rejects, and come back. We need to find a solution to this. I'm, I'm going to, 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 I'm fighting here. I'm, I'm, I'm really fighting. And there is something I want to, to share with you right now. To show you that I'm not seated. Yes, Madrid is here. Madrid is here. So there is something I want to share with you here. Why I'm pissed off, or pissed off with these people and why we need to find a solution to this problem. Why we should stop this madness of stealing people in a broad day. In a broad day. They take your money like that. They take your money like that. This is something that we need to do what? We need to stop. So um, that demonstration, we plan to... Uh, she's the one who is going actually to start it as soon as the visa is rejected. As soon as the visa is rejected, she'll pick her decision. Of course, we know that the decision will be, will be, will be picked. Why she has to do that is because... Paul, Paul, uh, the Polish embassy in Kenya has just made it a way of picking money from people. I want you to get a calculator and calculate how many are we here? We are over how many? 30 people right now. Yes. Times 80 euros. Yeah, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. Look. We are 30 people here. I think over 20 people are not here because of Ramadan, they are cooking and all that. Okay? I want to tell you, all of you, you are heading to Poland. 
I mean, you are heading to Kenyan embassy to pick visa, of which you know that most of you guys, you have borrowed the money. Most of you guys, you have saved this amount of money to pay for this, uh, for this um, uh, work permit, which is hard, hard earned money, okay? And at the end of the day, you go to the embassy, they, they charge you amount of money. You are from Uganda, you travel distances over 20. How many, how many kilometers, how many hours did you, did you travel? Over 18 hours. Over 18 hours in the bus at that risk, I know. You are traveling at night, anything can happen, you can die in an accident. But you are mm -hmm. taking just documents to someone who is going to pick them. Why they cannot put there at least a, a collection center in Uganda? They say, for, K for Ugandans, please pick these documents and put some money, small money, to, uh, I mean, to, 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 to transfer your documents. I think I think the reason as to why they are not even asking us questions because they don't want to know because they already made the decisions. Exactly. So, That's what you had the lawyer from Poland do it, saying that. Yes. You had him saying that it is because they actually I have his email saying that this could be an automated messages because Madrin applied her visa on for on eighth. on eighth, she applied a visa on eighth March, and she got a decision on ninth March. It means they did not look. There is no way who can who who can. There is no one who can uh, who can just look into all the documents just in just hours, because it was not on a Madrid that. It, my papers very well from the lesson from from uh, from top to, to to bottom from the way I arranged them it really gives interest in reading so so if if, if I don't if I get a refusal that is something automatic for sure I try to get everything ready and so I'm in I'm in for the de demonstration for sure exactly so what i'm trying to mean here okay we need to stop this fraud this is this is total scam by polish embassy in uganda in kenya first of all they need to know that people are selling their properties you had this guy from kenya s t telling you that a lot of people are selling their land a lot of people, even you here, I'm sure most of you, your parents have, or your cousins, or you, your guys, you have gone to the bank to borrow this money to get work permits which are produced by Polish government. I'm the living example. I'm the living example. I know. <laughs> the bank is, is demanding you money. So at the end of the day, I want to show you something that I did here. To prove that embassy, because after hearing a lot of, of nonsense that people are not getting, uh, I did not believe it. Until the Madrid, our first girl, went there, they rejected the visa. Rejecting a visa is normal. But when they reject a visa, what do you do? By law, when, you, when an embassy rejects a visa, you need to contact a lawyer. I've taught you this every day you need to contact a lawyer not from your own country but from the country of where you want to apply from so i want to show you something you guys you will know that i did not sit down or i was not uh doing something stupid no like this Is it readable? Yes. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this one. Go quick, kiri kiri. Kukata. Kali open. Which one? No, it is off. Which one? Yeah, we need it. So, ladies and gentlemen, ah, my camera. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how 
we i got the lawyer i'm not going to, say, to show you all the messages that i exchanged we have exchanged, exchanged over uh, uh, many messages this is the law firm anyone can go on the internet and look for this lawyer take the screenshot because we are not hiding anything you can go ahead and ask this is the money he charged me 1000 euros to write a, an appeal which appeal was not considered was not considered you will see in the message he says that it is not guaranteed because he thought gloria he thought that we needed one year he he thought that a, a, a work permit should be one year but which is not true okay and even if it was true we we went ahead we got a document from the the job where Madrin was going to do to work, a, which is a special document, indicating that Madrin will be given a leave after one year to go back to Uganda and renew his what? His uh, his uh, his uh, visa, okay. But these people they did not take even one minute to read on our document. Nothing. <laughs> what message did he? Yeah. When, when, oh wait, when lawyer, when we contacted, when, when we received news from who? From, uh, from Poland, the lawyer said that this was a total scam and this was an automated message there is no way how someone can just uh they did not look into even his appeal the appeal that we paid 1000 euros even madrin did not know this she's there she's my witness i want to change the slide but i think this uh, this this mode you cannot change the slides i wanted the uh, the, the, the another slide Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, but it's what I'm doing, but it is not. This mode you put me. No, nothing. There's nothing. Just stop it. So, ladies and gentlemen, the lawyer, in his words, in his email, he said this is a total scam. Because either they're interested at your appeal, they know that the more you, 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 you appeal, the, when you appeal, they get more money. Yeah. This is a proof of a payment now. This is invoice. Mm -hmm. No, this is a proof of payment. Eh? Mm. Ah, okay. I thought this was this was a. I thought this was a, a, a proof of payment. We can find it because I mean, everything is here. Okay. We had I me and my wife. We had to go ahead because I realized that we could, I could not go back to Medrin and tell her that Medrin, you know what, you need to pay this amount of money. I went extra mile, me and my wife, these are all the conversation with a lawyer. You can even read them. There's nothing that I'm hiding here. Eh? Uh, reviewing the payment. After reviewing the payment, wait, let me see. Everything is here. There's nothing I'm hiding because me, I'm someone who is, who has open, clean hands. Why? Because we need, I needed Madrin to get this visa because I knew when I, Madrin gets a visa, I wanted even to give her this as a surprise. So that can you find, can you find a, this is, 
Do you show the message he sent about his opinion of the rejection after the appeal? Is that he prepared all this? This here he was asking me information about Medrin. You see, I sent the Medrin, I sent the, the work, the workplace. I'll get it. We, we we still have time. Here, okay, great. I start to work then. Dear sir, you see? Invoiced invoice in attachment, bank, bank number, method of invoice, all of it. Aha, this is the invoice I downloaded. I thought I had downloaded the, the what? I'll get it. This should be. I said thank you for your email attached to the proof of payment. Uh -huh. Looking forward to hearing from you. Kindly note that we have to submit the appeal before Wednesday next week. And she has to travel from Uganda to the embassy in Nairobi. So it will be, a, it will be helpful if we can have this ready at least by Monday before end of the day. Also, the application form, we plan to fill in a new one. Uh -huh. This is proof of payment. Good. Everything is here. Because we are not hiding anything. This is my bank. You can see it. This is our bank, and this is the money sent. You see? 1,000. Going to Poland. This is my bank called the Fintro Bank. So, what am I trying to mean? I'm, I'm trying to mean that we have gone extra mile to reach this extent. You know, paying four million for someone you have never met, paying four million for someone to, to prove the embassy that you can do the right thing. But these people, trust me, they did not take time even to look into the documents. They did not look, take time even to see in Madrini's appeal. What they did was just to go ahead and give a reject after submitting her documents on 4th and on 5th she already had, they already made a decision that she will get, she will not get a visa. This is madness of the highest order. This is something that we mu that must stop with Kuichiriza family unlimited. That's why I put you in one group. That's why I'm open to you to the extent that I tell you each and everything. Even Madrin did not know, did not know even that I, I had to pay the money. But what she knows is she got a letter from, my, from Poland from a lawyer. She didn't know how much I paid. She did not know. She did not know. She can even open her, uh, her uh, she's here. She, open and tell us, maybe they might think, maybe I'm lying. Nobody here. I think some, one person had, a, had, a, had, a, I think I was talking to, to who? To, I was preparing, uh, I think who? Uh, that Queen Barista, Namatov. And I think something linked and in Alongo said, oh, I think she's the only person who had an idea. But also she didn't know how much we paid. Because we told her, please stop, don't share this information. And if we hear it, it is going to be you. Because I was talking to her on the phone and then something linked from my mouth. So that is how much we went far. To prove the embassy that we can also get a, a lawyer from Poland. So how am I? Go, how are we going to stop this madness by coming all of us and supporting this lady? And if you have a sister in, in Poland, in, in Kenya, uh, who was rejected, if you know anyone who was rejected, contact that person. Let on that day be ready there with papers. We, we shall organize the news. We shall organize all, all whatever is necessary. If you have transport board, if you are, let us stop this garbage. I'm telling you. If you need to contribute anything for, for our sister to stay there, because even the money that took her, she borrowed it. It is my sister here, what is her name? Uh, ma, what is her name? Sylvia. Who gave her one million and also white better, my son, who gave her 500 to make sure that she gets to Kenya. And now this, this, these people are just 
get, getting getting the, their papers and they don't even do anything what they do they just get the papers and they just put them in garbage we must stop this madness by the seriously let let us actually be known for that let's know that it is from we that we stopped this like how we we we, we talked about uh, uh, charging a lot of money on what on on on, 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 on um, uh, when people were moving out you remember we started it on on Kuchiriza. people picked it there we hosted also the, the ministry of, of foreign affairs and this madness stopped people were rejected were were rejected from leaving the country for no reason because of corruption until when we vis we hosted who the the spokesperson for uh, for for who for civil aviation Kampala that madness stopped we can also stop this and we open way for others kindly um, you are here because of this that's why i called this lady to come and join us after we have talked we need to find way out for you because unless if you are selfish and be like in the young mm -hmm. But if we are one as a family, we need to find a way of making this, this thing happen. When they give her a reject like this, she should have an action. She should show an satisfaction because they have never done it. She has to say her words. She ha the, the TV must be there. The, 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 the news editors must be there. All the people must be there. And then they should stop this garbage. Let us demonstrate at least let them put something there because when, when even if they get her they put her in prison we shall pick her there because she will have committed no crime so if you have a friend who is in kenya and he wants to join this struggle please contact that person let him, let him be there if you have any way you can support our sister, either by sending her uh, uh, um, do it. Send it to her. She's here. We are not scamming. We are not doing what? Do it. Let her stay. Because it is hard. I have already told you that most of you guys, she just it is you who borrowed her money. She already has a debt from the bank. She has, you, you know, but all in all, these people, they don't look into her papers. Last time it was it was, we were stressed by 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 what by 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 uh, appointment. But now appointments. If, if even right now, as I talk right now, we have an appointment from Wanguzi Michael on twenty sixth. We have another appointment, but they haven't sent a, a message. We don't know from Ted Mali in UAE. She's here. At least for that one, we hoped for something. Yeah, people there are getting visa. People there are getting visa. I want to tell you, in Qatar, they gave someone a visa whose work permit had remained with only two months, three months rather. And this person was given a visa, but after they called this person and they asked him to take a contract, and he took the contract, they called the company where he's going to work. They ask, but these Polish people, they do nothing. Uh, in Kenya, they do nothing. What they are interested in is that that 80 euros that you take at first time and the 80 euros you take for the second time, get that amount of money, calculate how much. How much? If a day they collect from 10 people, $80 times 10, that is $800 per day. But at the end of the day, and I'm sure they get more than th those people, I think. Because they are saying that they reject one visa. But the, the man who works at embassy yesterday, you had him correctly. He said, since January, they have not issued any national visa. If I'm lying, someone here should comment that you are lying. This is someone who is working. This is an intel from, from inside. So that's why we must stop. We must all stand together and we stop this garbage. We must stand and stop 
this garbage. Otherwise, there is serious, serious, serious scam. This is a serious scam that we must stop. We must completely stop it. Shut it down. Let me first call Shanita. No, she has to, to read. I need also water. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, this is something that we need to fight. And we must just fight it together. If you know that you are here, because I, I'm 100% sure we are 50 plus people who are waiting for work permits, Whose work permits are in Poland, they are working on them, and they are very expensive. I don't know where you got that money. So this is high time we must change. If we do that, they will get, and they go in newspaper, they will change their behaviors. But how are we going to do it? By us. Let us start by us. We are called unlimited So, if you think we are, we are doing the wrong thing, you can tell me. You can comment down here. We are now over 30 people. You can comment there and say, Papa, we are doing the wrong thing because they will reject the visa. After this lady who submitted yesterday attacked them and asked them, Why, what, which document? Put a document. That, because if someone went, every day people go on conference and they don't go back to Africa. Do they stop the conferences? People go, go to America on conferences and they don't go back. Do they stop conferences or do they stop other people from going because sad so went? Actually, this lady, she asked the, she asked, she asked, she asked, she asked the what? The consul. That, so are you punishing us because other people went to, to Poland? And they did not go back. They did not return back. Or they, they escaped. Eh? Someone has ties. Madrid, everyone here has a house, a, a, a piece of land. Everyone has a child. Every, because for me, those are things that I first ask you. Do you have children? Yes. Because these are ties that will bring you back home. Do you have a family? Yes. You have even gone ahead to, pro to, bring, to, to produce a document from the government Committing yourself, all yourselves. Committing yourselves. Committing yourselves that you return back to Uganda. Because whoever swears an affidavit, that is your, it is like swearing a, 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 with a, a Bible. Because that document you sign is not just written. But it, it is also certified by a certain body that you, what you have sworn, you must do it. But these people, they don't look into all these documents. And this, all these documents, they take money. What is hurting me most and what the lawyer and in Poland, what they are asking actually is why are they charging one year insurance? That also we should also fight. And it should stop. If someone is going to Poland, and in Poland, in the documents you have pro provided, are showing that this person will have insurance as soon as he steps in Poland. Eh? Someone will get insurance as soon as he steps in Poland. Why should you pay insurance for, for one year if it is not a scam between insurance and those people? This should stop. Because you are going to be in Poland for one year, but that insurance they give you is going to, it, it helps those people who, are, who just go and come back, go and come back, like business people. And if they tell you, the insurance companies tell you that if you go there and you stay there for six months without returning back to Uganda, then the, ins the then insurance company will be not working. They know this. 
But they go ahead and they ask you one million. I mean, uh, over, over 400 euros. One million plus Ugandan shillings. That is over three plus euros. If it is not a scam, how do you call that? <laughs> Mr. Kabbalah, Brian. So, I just request you guys, let's fight this. Let's fight um, scam. This is called, in this one, it is called a professional scam. If you do not know, this is called a professional scam. We need to facilitate our sister to go and look for journalist, journalists. We need to facilitate our sister to sleep there because already I have told you the truth that even the money took her. It is my sister here. Big up, by the way. Big up, my sister who... Um, bis, bis, um, not Miss Rikirwa. Um, Bukirwa. Thank you so much. So guys, here we are one family. We are really one family. So let us fight this for other people to get through. Otherwise, if we don't put these people in newspaper, if what I have talked, if we cannot put it in newspaper, they read it, then trust me, they will not do anything. This is going to, to be like that. But remember, there are people here who have, who have paid and they have not gotten their work permit. And you are still waiting for your work permit. So of course they will come. Because you already paid. You already paid. And that money is not reversible. I cannot. I don't have it as you gave it to me. I gave it to Poland. That's why I had to stop. That's why I had to stop. I said, you guys, we cannot keep on with this. We cannot just keep on paying money to Poland, 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 when we don't know what is going on. I went ahead and I invested a lot of money. Over 4 million is not something small. Why? Because I realized that if we know that after appealing and after doing the right thing as, as laws permits, then we shall know that, uh, okay, when someone is rejected, you get an appeal. Actually, in that message, you see, this, this lawyer, I was telling him that we, we, we hope for a bigger business. Because I realized that that is the way, way forward when people reject, are rejected the visa, they can appeal. It is normal. This is not the first thing. It is normal. However, it is different. So now we must wake up and we fight this garbage. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you that are uh, for me, in Sazel Papa, some messages I'm with. Though I'm not, I'm busy. I showed you why I was not on, 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 on online. It is because I'm doing some, I'm, 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 while we're with Motokabiru and Abasose and Obibalaze, and I have to, to help these people, we do something. So on Monday, I'm going to be live. Some people, they could have started, you know, he's running away, what he promised. Me, I promised you a work permit, but we a family and we must fight this garbage. Work permit came, is, there is no one who, who has a wrong work permit, it is right, but now the problem is the Polish um, embassy in Kenya that is either decide, that has either decided to fraud people and we must stop this with, they said you had it, over 700 people have not gotten visas since February, since, rather since January. So we cannot see this happening when Africans are cheated. Thank God that I'm already in Europe. I know which office to go. I have even actually written to them. I wrote to, 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 to a representative of Poland in, Una, in the European Parliament. They have, and I copied all the responsible organizations. I can even show you, by the way. But they, they haven't replied to me. And I'm going to drive and go there, live. I'll go. If it is to Kweka, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll connect. 
Amauli legawano, I'll go and I'll do it. If it is to publish an article in, in Polish newspaper, I'm going to do it. Because we have to stop this garbage. Trust me. We must. We must. We, we, I, I cannot let, I cannot be there and I see a Ugandan, a Kenyan, a Somalese, a what, being cheated like that and being cheated by the so-called superpower countries. No, 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 no. Let us be known for that. So, other than that, uh, this lady, I think she has just five minutes to come in. If you have any question, you can come and ask me. And then we proceed. Whatever I have talked here, I'm going to po I'm, I'm recording myself and it should be posted because I have no, uh, sometimes I may not go ahead and uh, if you have anything that you need to ask, come knowing that it will be posted on our YouTube. That's why I'm trying as much as possible to remain in English despite that we have our brother from, from uh, Ghana also. I'm going to post it. So if you have any query, any question, anything, please unmute. Okay. Or if you feel like you, I can stop the recording and then you, you ask. Because we have like five minutes to have this lady from Poland. Other than that, we can wait because I don't see any question. I think I have spoken everything. But what I'm requesting you, do not lose hope. We have fought bigger wars than this one. Now, most of you guys, you do not know me. You do not know me, most of you guys. But me, I fought bigger wars than this one. Even when I was a student here in Belgium, some, some people are here very happy. They are enjoying because of my sweat here. Because me, I'm fighting for injustices. Yes, who has a question, please? Speak louder because I can't hear you. It's who? It's me, Rosemary. Yes, Rosemary. Not you. Mm. <laughs> Papa, uh -huh. English, please, no. English, please, English, English, English. I revised the message they were sending the group concerning the same issue, mm. and I find out that one person said, uh, if the employers are waiting for the employees and they are not seeing them, what are they talking about? What is their step forward? Exactly. Yeah. Look, look, you can ask that question. Sandra is coming today. Yesterday I was in the meeting with her and she said that employees, even they call the embassies. Even you heard the lawyer saying that. Did you hear the lawyer from Poland saying that the, the, the embassy, the companies that have, are hiring people, sometimes they call the embassies. Another thing, mm. there was a document you first put here. The first one mm. I saw as you were discussing with the lawyer. Mm. The lawyer reached a time saying that he's writing this. He, he was writing that he how to how to appeal, mm. but he has no a hundred percent about the their decision will be according to what he put in that application. We want to review what was put in that application. What yes, because that because the reason why he was uh, talking like that, he thought, okay, uh, uh, he he thought that the Polish embassy, since the 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 the, the uh, ticket is showing one year going and coming back, is showing that insurance is showing one year and uh, and and uh, one year, okay. Mm -hmm. So the work permit also should be one year. Which is wrong. We have seen people. Actually, I had to explain to him. Some people even get permanent contracts. Even some people get permanent contracts. It does not matter the, the, how long you're going to be in that country. What matters is, is the, is the company that calling you to go and work, is it legit? Is it, does, does it have potential to employ people? Those are things that they should look into it or investigate about. 
But these people, they don't like Polish, Polish uh, government, uh, Poland, Pol Polish embassy in Uganda and in Kenya. They don't even look into that. That's why we went further. Okay. Only that I have not, I have not, I think, given you the, the, the what? The appeal. Appeal, I have it here. He was arguing to them. He was argue, arguing them that this person, after serving one year, she can go back to Uganda and apply for a new visa. We got also a document from uh, live and uh, from the work, the bosses of Madrid, who explained that after Madrid has worked one year, we shall give her a, a, a leave to go back to, to Uganda and renew. Maybe Madrid can come and, and air out this. Madrid, you can come and air out. I think you are still around. Madrid. Yes, Papa. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Papa? You read into lawyer's document. What what yes. came into your mind, really? According to what the, uh, what the lawyer had documented, surely if the embassy truly reads those documents, eh, uh. it would be an automatic acceptance. Because eh? uh. uh, I remember... Uh, the, the lawyer first, he first sent me what the lawyer had sent the appeal. Mm. Then later, I had to get the one from the company saying that I will come back and renew my my visa. Mm. Higher. Mm. And uh, of which also the lawyer indicated it in the appeal. Yeah. And you also got a document from the company, right? Uh, good yes. that Sandra also is here. Yeah, Sandra, you are welcome, my, my friend, my colleague. So. Yeah, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Sandra, and I represent the company, which uh, provides you with the work permit invitations. It's nice to meet all of you here. I cannot see everyone, but I think that everyone can kind of see me. So I'm going to be present today with you for some time and... Uh, Maybe answer some of your questions or give some comments uh, for for a while. Okay, it is unfortunate that it, uh, this this conversation is is being recorded. I don't know whether you're okay with that. You mean me? Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. For me, for me, it is recorded. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm fine. That's okay, fine. good, good, good. So Medrin was explaining that 